Hey guys, today we're going to look at a shotgun that I feel like is pretty unknown and doesn't get a lot of publicity. And uh, I really feel like it's an excellent value for the money. For what you're getting, you're getting a lot of shotgun. And that happens to be the CZ Drake. So initially you get your case, which is a pretty good solid case. I mean, it's got a little bit of flex to it, but it does your shotgun well. It's got a good layer of foam on top. These are your chokes. These don't come with it, you know, to those. These are just earbuds. Got your choke tool. And you actually have the lower and then the barrels. You know, pull them out of this amazing Turkish vinyl. Now, one thing about these CZs is that they're not actually uh, Czech. They're made by a um, Turkish company. A lot of Turkish company that makes the same, the Weatherbees, the Weatherbee shotguns are also made, uh, make these CZ guns. So here's the lower, you can see the wood. Uh, there's not a lot fancy to the wood, but the checkering feels really, really nice. You have a safety up top that you can choose to shoot uh, which cylinder you want to go first, your upper or your lower, by switching this left and right. And then on the other spectrum, you have your actual barrels. Now, one thing I love about this gun is how lightweight it is. It is an extremely lightweight shotgun. You can see it doesn't have material in between the barrels except at the very end. This helps save it, save weight, as opposed to this, uh, not as opposed, but in addition to this ribbed up here, it's got milling out to save weight up top. Now the bead on this is just a simple front white bead, and it does just fine. The chokes you can see um, are flush inside the barrel, and they screw out and screw in really easily. Uh, you can get extended chokes, and I'm, I've yet to experiment with those to see if it's actually worth the money. Um, but we'll find out later. I'll do a video later on that. The assembly of this is really easy. Pop that off, just like any old other, any, uh, other old gun like this. You can see it's got some cool diamond patterning here, diamond milling up here on the uh, bearing surfaces. So that's just going to go right in here, snaps together with authority, and uh, this piece is super lightweight. It almost feels cheap. You can see how, to keep it light, they actually milled out material in here, so it, it almost feels fake. Not the texturing or the wood, but just it, it's too light. <laughs> Which doesn't mind, you know, once it's on, it, you don't mind it at all, but as you're feeling it, it doesn't give that quality feeling just because for some reason we are designed to think that weight equals quality, but it doesn't always. So once it's on, you don't notice that lightweight. There's no play in it whatsoever, and it feels really good. Overall, the package only weighs just over six pounds. So when you're humping out in the field and you got you know, you're, you're trekking a couple miles. This is a really comfortable gun to carry as opposed to some of the semi-autos, like the Remington 11, was 1170, or whatever. They get really heavy. They get really heavy. And you're only allowed to carry three rounds in the shotgun, so you don't get that much of an advantage with a semi-auto over a um, superimposed like this. Additionally, I feel like if you're out there and let's get real, the birds don't taste that great. You're out there for the fun of the hunt. And there's something about using an old school gun like this that just enhances the, the hunting experience. It makes it a little bit more difficult. You only got that two shots and it, it makes for a more fun hunting experience, definitely. Now, some complaints about this gun, I, I've never had any malfunctions whatsoever, but I've let other people shoot it and they say that this lockup is really, really tight and hard to open. So. If you're over here and you lift this to the right, you'd expect this to fall down and you can kind of shake it and eventually it will come out. But if you're not maybe a gun person and you don't really understand how exactly this mechanism is working, um, a lot of family members when I've gone out and shot skeet with them, they can't open up this gun. It, and it, it is tough, but you just, I gotten used to it. You know, see if I can get more on camera here. You can come here. And it, if you just push it to the side, no matter how hard you push it, it won't open up. 
So you do have to push to the side and then give it a little bit of a, a, a whiplash there to open it up. Now I have used other ones that are a lot looser and a lot smoother and that when you just push this open, it automatically opens up. And after getting used to it, it's not an issue for me, but for new shooters, it definitely is an issue. Now, another thing with this gun that I actually prefer is that when you open this up, you can see the ejector right there. It doesn't shoot out your spent casings. It just lifts them up so you can pull them out and put them on like in a pack so you're not, you're not littering outside in the, on the field. They're not going to shoot them out where you have to go later and pick them up. It's just right here, pop them out, put in your two new ones, and then lock it up. And I definitely like that about this gun. Some people don't like the weight. And I can see that if you're just only shooting trap, that six pounds, six and a half pounds, it recoils a little bit more than some other shotguns. However, if you're hunting, you're only putting down, you know, maybe 10, 20 rounds to that entire experience. And you're not going to notice the recoil when you're out hunting. Follow-up shots are not an issue. You can put down your two. The trigger on this is really nice. You get your two shots off really quickly. As opposed to a pump, you're going to have that. Your follow-up shots are going to be way slower on a pump than this. Just because it's right there. So I don't find the recoil to be an issue with this gun whatsoever. As far as the fit and finish, I don't see any problems with it. I, I really like the construction of it. You can see it's got some engraving on there. The engraving is, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna go engraving, you gotta do the whole thing. <laughs> you can't just put on one or two seemingly random engravings on there. I, I would almost prefer it to be uh, just a slab slide versus the engraving. And if you are gonna engrave, which engraving is sexy, don't get me wrong, but I'd like to see the entire thing really. Now, I know at the price point of this, I think this was $600 out the door. You know, you're gonna pay for that. And this is all laser done, of course, it's not hand done at all. But I would almost prefer it not to be there. So this is the Drake G2 model. I don't, haven't seen the G1. Now, I bought this at Sportsman's and uh, they had this. And then for the same exact price, they had the, uh, it's like the Upland, the lightweight Upland or something like that. And literally they were the exact same guns except that the lightweight Upland had a fiber optic front end and the wood on it was a lighter shade of wood, almost like a, like a light birch. And I didn't really dig the light color wood, I like this darker. Now I don't know if this is actually walnut or not, if it is, it's really low grade walnut. But I preferred just the darker stain on it, so that's why I went with this. I did like the fiber optic sight better on the Upland game, the lightweight Upland game. But this one is done just fine. So enough talking about it. It is a three inch chamber, but uh, let's go out and have some shots with it, huh? See if I can hit some plays. Alrighty, we're just using some Federal number eight shot. We'll see what we can do. Now I don't have an automatic thrower. So I'm gonna, oh, one hand, see if we can do it. I can even awkwardly hold this. Alrighty. Gun ready. Well, I hit it, but it broke. Out of the flyer. See if we can not have it break out of the flyer. A little bit smoother in here. Let's see. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Got it. So. Really need to get a nice launcher.